Hi everyone, my name's Angie. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Today is Monday and I'm going to be starting a new meal prep video. It's going to be a little smaller than some of the ones I've done before. Um, but I'm going to be doing a different muffin recipe and grilling some chicken and things like that. So I'm glad you're here and I hope it gives you some new ideas for the week. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Start with is making a comeback sauce, but I'm gonna do the low carb form of it. It's a really good sauce that some people like on their hamburgers. I like it on like a south southwestern salad or something. So we're gonna need one cup of mayonnaise, and I like the Duke's mayonnaise because it doesn't have sugar in it. got my soft boiled eggs going in my pressure cooker which for anybody new I cook my eggs in my pressure cooker and I just do it um, put them in there with one cup of water and the egg setting which is four minutes and it makes like perfect soft boiled eggs they're not really runny but they're not it just keeps them from getting overcooked. Now, I also split up some chicken breasts and butterfly them, and I like to butterfly my chicken, marinate them in some type of dressing, either Italian dressing or balsamic dressing, so that it, it gets a good flavor to it. But I like to butterfly them because you're, that way they're not so big and thick and they also cook up on the grill in eight minutes they're done four minutes on each side so One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We've got one cup of mayonnaise. Fourth cup of ketchup. One fourth cup of chili sauce, and then one fourth cup of ketchup. I was wondering why it looks so runny. And I use the ketchup health garden with xylitol in it. One teaspoon onion powder. Two 
Worcestershire. teaspoon of Tabasco if you like Tabasco and then one fourth cup of olive oil and then juice from one lemon I'm gonna go ahead and stir this before I add the lemon in Hey everyone, I just wanted to pop in and apologize for this next video coming up. Um, my camera cut off, my second camera cut off, and I didn't realize that my other camera was not getting the full picture here, but it will be corrected soon. So here I'm getting started on the cream cheese filling at six ounces of softened cream cheese and four, one fourth cup powdered sweetener. I use Swerve. And then one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream, one half teaspoon of vanilla. And then you blend that together and set aside. And now I'm about to make the muffin part of it, which is four eggs, room temperature. One half cup of unsweetened almond milk. And then you're going to melt one third cup of butter. One half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm pouring the butter in. I'm gonna add two cups of almond flour.
Then you're gonna add a half a cup of powdered sweetener. Then one third cup of cocoa powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. You can add a half a teaspoon of espresso powder, but that's optional. And one fourth teaspoon of salt. Just putting my silicone baking liners in. It says the recipe makes 12 muffins, but I actually got 16. So you're going to fill them three-fourths of the way full. Spoonful of the cream cheese mixture, kind of push it in the center. Then you're going to top each one with some chocolate chips. I'm using the Lilisa My Sweet Chips. And then you're going to put it in a 350 oven for 20 minutes. And that's what they look like when they come out. So this is everything I prepped today. I prepped some vegetables. I made soft boiled eggs. I made the comeback sauce, some taco meat. Got my fruit washed. I grilled some chicken and I made the muffins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you some new ideas and I hope you have a great week. Bye.